So let us now discuss about the variation of equivalent conductance with concentration. If you see this one, the effect of concentration on equivalent conductance can be studied from the plots of lambda c values versus square root of concentration of the electrolyte. By doing so, it has been found that different types of plots are obtained depending on the nature of the electrolyte. And this is the indication of the variation of equivalent conductivity lambda c with c for strong electrolytes and weak electrolytes. For strong electrolyte that is lambda c. So this is the indication of for strong electrolytes. So for this one it decreases linearly with increase in root c while for weak electrolytes there is a curve type of non-linear decrease of lambda c with root c. So this is about the conductivity of electrolytes. For strong electrolytes, this person D. Bay, this person Huckel and Onsager equation can be explained. So lambda C is equal to lambda infinity minus of A plus B into lambda infinity multiplied by root C to the linear plot of lambda C versus root C. For strong electrolytes, this is the thing. So the intercept value equals to lambda c value which is obtained by electroplating the line of y-axis but that is root c which is equals to 0. So the slope value equals to a plus b into lambda infinity. Here the A and B are called as d bay constants for strong electrolytes. In case of weak electrolytes, degree of dissociation alpha increases when concentration decreases. So lambda C is equal to lambda infinity minus of A plus B lambda infinity multiplied by root C. Hence 1 minus alpha. So this 1 minus alpha value tends to 0 at infinite dilution such that lambda c increases and tends to lambda infinity value. So this lambda infinity of weak electrolytes are experimentally obtained by electroplating the upper arm of the curve to the y-axis and also the intercept value corresponds to lambda infinity. So in the intermediate concentration range, lambda c is lower than lambda infinity since the weak electrolyte exits in partially ionized state. The degree of dissociation alpha equals to the ratio of lambda c to lambda infinity value. That is alpha is equal to lambda c divided by lambda infinity. So here is an example for weak electrolyte which you can able to see it over here. That's it. Thank you for watching.